We begin today's show in Western Massachusetts, where a judge ruled Thursday a panel on Palestinian rights can move forward. Three anonymous UMass students filed a lawsuit to stop the event, claiming they will, quote, suffer irreparable harm if it takes place. But Judge Robert Ullman ruled Thursday the event can proceed, saying, quote, there's nothing that comes even close to a threat of harm or incitement to violence or lawlessness. Meanwhile, the university has backed the event, despite the protests, saying it's committed to the principles of free speech and academic freedom. Welcome to the University of Massachusetts Fine Arts Center. In the event of an alarm, please remain calm and leave the building. At this time, please turn off all mobile devices out of consideration for those on the stage and your fellow audience members. The use of cameras and recording devices is strictly prohibited. Thank you. Israel isn't supposed to defend itself. Oh, yeah, Mexico bombed Texas will be exercised. What other countries held to the same standard as Israel? Israel. 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 I am now not only a self-hating Jew, but they also call me an anti-Semite. How I, with my four Jewish grandparents, I'm still an anti-Semite. My wife was born in a displaced persons camp in Germany, and I'm an anti-Semite. They have, for a very long time, been able to effectively defend the indefensible uh, to the American public through miseducation and misinformation campaigns, through uh, smearing individuals on the opposite uh, side of things, labeling them all kinds of things, sympathizers with terrorism. I've done uh, dozens of interviews which begin from the terrorism departure point. But when given an opportunity to actually speak and present a different perspective, that can dissolve rather quickly. Is Hamas a terrorist organization? Do I get to actually speak now? At you get this to point? answer the question. It's a simple yes or no question. Is Sir, Hamas. I, you invited me on here. Is Hamas, whose charter calls for the destruction of Israel, is that a terrorist organization? That's a yes or no thank, question. Thank you for your question. Finally. It's very telling to me that, and it should be telling to your viewers as well, by the way, that the moment you have a Palestinian voice on your program who begins to explain the legitimate grievances of Palestinians Islam on the ground. a terrorist not just organization. Hamas. Answer. Sir, let me, sir, Answer let the me question. Finish. What part of this can you get through your thick head? I think Is I, Hamas a terrorist excuse me? organization? Excuse yes me? or no? The only thing that you're going to say is what we want you to say. And if you don't say it, we're not going to let you speak. It's almost impossible to get any view that isn't one way or another shaped by an Israeli perspective. Almost impossible. It cannot get in without facing a firestorm of pit bull attacks to make sure that the line is followed. Everyone who's trying to tell the American public a different side of the story, um, an alternative view of the conflict that's uh, reality-based, has already crossed a barrier of fear. And I think they've already told themselves, well, I'm going to pay for this, but I'm ready to pay the price. For years, Minnesota Democrat Ilhan Omar has criticized Israeli policies. As a candidate, she argued that criticism was not the same as criticism of Jews. I see there being a difference between criticism of a country, criticism of its administration and its government, and criticism of the people and their faith. 
I am Jewish. I have fought against anti-Semitism my entire life, and I do not see anything in what Representative Omar said that is anti-Semitic. If anything, she's a truth teller. And to me, it's much less about what she said than who is saying it. This is a black, young woman, immigrant Muslim in Congress who's wearing a hijab, and they are going after her for that very reason. Omar wears a hijab. Is her adherence to this Islamic doctrine indicative of her adherence to Sharia law? The problem is that her beliefs are deeply rooted in hatred and anti-Semitism. She is a hater. I'm going to say it. She is filth. Jeff, that is a very strong word that you used. Yes. Used, you know? She is a filthy, disgusting hater. Tonight we examine the pernicious influence in American politics of this woman, Linda Sarsour. A woman described by the New York Times very affectionately as a homegirl in a hijab. Just a few weeks ago on Facebook, she slammed folks who masquerade as progressives but always choose their allegiance to Israel over their commitment to democracy and free speech. Linda Sarsour, she's a professional activist. She's the child of Palestinian immigrants. You would think that she'd be grateful for the opportunities this country has given her family, especially considering where they came from. But no, Linda Sarsour is not grateful. She hates our country and the people who founded it. Today, some good news. CNN dump contributor Mark Lamont Hill. Obviously, Mark Lamont Hill, Sean, had to be fired in this situation. Uh, you mentioned it before, free Palestine from the river to the sea. That's right out of a Hamas script. You know, I've debated him uh, on CNN, and he is a bigot, and he is an anti-Semite, and uh, he never should have been on any network show. Uh, he shouldn't be teaching at a major uh, university. Uh, he is virulently anti-American, anti-Semitic, anti-Israel and anti-Western values in, in general. He's just a terrible, terrible human being. Is it a rock concert or a political platform or both? The summer tour by Roger Waters, formerly of Pink Floyd. The Greater Miami Jewish Federation took out an ad in the Miami Herald protesting his appearance, which read, anti-Semitism and hatred are not welcome in Miami. Waters says his criticisms are political. They're not religious. He has drawn ire as a supporter of Israel BDS, boycott, divestment, and sanctions. He has lobbied performers not to perform in Israel and has regarded the Israeli treatment of Palestinians as apartheid. The guy from Pink Floyd is a big yap. You ought to shut his mouth too, Roger. We know Roger, I love Pink Floyd, but that's where it ends. Good evening, everyone. I am Satya Ali, Professor of Communication at UMass. And an Executive Director of the Media Education Foundation, the organizer of this event. What you have just seen in this montage is what happens when people dare to speak out about the Palestinian people as human beings, worthy of the same rights and dignity as everyone else. They are drowned out under an avalanche of slanderous and shameful lies that they are anti-Semites who hate Jews.